Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. September 21st, one day till the fall, to say that, or one day till the equinox. Let's see, loves, how today are the energies, and of course, how the energies are for each and every one. Speaking of loves, I I try to do your weekly energies and I'm almost in the middle, but with this Mercury retrograde, it takes, takes quite a lot of time. Just a little preview for many, many of you. Comes a lot of changes, especially for the week that is on the roll and it's coming to us. The change of the season brings a lot of vibes for many, many of you. Switch a lot of vibes. So you will see, probably today will be posted all those readings, if they will be done all together. And the latest probably it's tomorrow, but I will try my best as today. Let's see here. What do we have for this day? Whatever in the world you are, I welcome you and thank you for stopping by and tuning with these energies. And it's such a pleasure to get this insights for all of you. And I will also read all your messages, no matter what, it's just a smile, it's just a heart, I always will put a heart on the back out there or on the side but no i am here for all of you whatever you are going through or how is your life going on there all right this devil energy the page of cups and the king of wands and the queen of pentacles goodness. I have here um, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo coming forward for some of you. For some of you, there is someone doesn't necessary to be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. For some of you, you are Capricorn Taurus Virgo. The fact is someone here comes forward. It's kind of they take action to come forward. Let's see what this is about. Or decides to take action. Wheel of Fortune is smack here in the middle. So there's something here the universe wants you to see quite clearly or pay attention to. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Temperance, Chariot, and two of pentacles. It's like someone here is determined to go forward, but when they are about to, they might start doubting. Is this worth it? Am I worth it? Can I do it? Can I not do it? Why the thing here, loves? Someone here waited the right time, the right moment. From the major arcana, as you see here on the diagonal, we have the temperance, the wheel, and the chariot. Healing, movement, the right time. So indeed, the universe is giving you a positive vibe even someone feels on the other side or have another side of some kind. The Four of Pentacles here, Ten of Cups. Why holding back, loves? Because I feel here someone indeed need a lot of healing for whatever they've gone through or with the home so they can move forward. 
the eight of swords we have seven of swords ten of swords five of wands and strength the eight of swords very very strongly speaks of pay attention what you got or how you get the things out there not how others are presenting because I feel here this is very strongly about someone who hold back because other people because they done this to me and I'm just a victim they make this in fact they are the strength energy in fact they know they can go through everything and anything with the strength if they want to the seven of pentacles here the Virgo energy of the hermit I will take my time to see if I want this truly and the two of pentacles hangman the doubt of going staying going staying puts the energy here on hold or put someone on hold big time page of swords maybe maybe i will get more about it you know in life they are they are learners and they are doers they are perfectionists and imperfectionists and who i'm speaking now it's kind of like want everything to be in order everything to be perfect everything every every everything all the details and as much as they go into the de details put them to wait am i have the courage am i confident enough to go forward what they will say how they will say but they may found out that their resistance is there for basically nothing why you resist when something here it's waiting for you queen of swords queen of cups of course mind wise i know i gotta move forward heart wise because my heart and my mind are not in the same vibe I need more assurance I need to see it and not feel it because I can't feel it yet But that's a decision which it's quite hard it's more likely the energy i need to see it so i can feel it how about otherwise if you feel it you can see it the devil energy here we have a tower five of pentacles and the world so the devil very much speaks that staying in the energy of this craziness will be quite a struggle for quite a while but not forever so someone here indeed will break the barriers to the move or moving forward or taking action to the moving forward to moving forward because whatever it's down here it's kind of the the things burn out and you want or you don't want you gotta leave it 
You don't need to strive for really tiny bit crumbles out there because you can do. As you see here, we have very strong the energy of Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, and this King of Wands. So I probably speak here with uh, a strong fire energy that they want to give it a chance to something but feel afraid of how other will say, what other will do, why that really matters. It's your journey. It's not their journey. So whatever is there, the action's on you. All right, loves, the actions are on you. You got this. And the universe, most importantly, has your back. Let's see here why the universe is here. The, the Wheel of Fortune tells you, got your confidence in your sleeve. because you can do it. You are able to do it, to get your wish fulfilled. Am I want it? Should I wait it? Should I go back and forth, back and forth? Or now is the time, now is the moment. I'm out and about, Six of Swords. Ten of Wands, King of Cups, very strong into your power. And most importantly, two Kings here, King of Cups and King of Wands, getting that vibe, life vibrance, getting your motivation back and most likely getting yourself back. So yes, loves. With this queen of pentacles, do you, loves, take care of you and your needs, not others. That's quite the thing here. And let's see here, the best advice we have for you. King of Swords, another king. And King of Swords very strongly speaks of. Get your plans in order, loves. Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, and Ace of Cups, and we have the Empress. As we speak right now, whatever plans you have, get ready for them, loves, or put them in order. Don't resist the new because the new is there to come and to expand big time. And yes, we all live by choices. New energies which most likely don't need to be not denied. So don't deny loves, that's the advice. And before we go to the oracles, I will look very strongly where is the first thing first, king of pentacles. The next card we have a fool. It's kind of take a leap of faith, put the work and learn from it. And here's the Knight of Wands, Knight of uh, Cups, speaking here. The offer that I've been presenting to you. So let's see here, where is the King of Pentacles? So King of Pentacles speaking here. Look at this King. The groundness, 
leave behind whatever hurts you that's done and over that's over the emperor your ego justice balance and success in the movement so put yourself grounded here loves because you're about to grow and prosper in some kind of endeavor or towards something for some of you procrastinating a situation back and forth back and forth back and forth it's basically more likely that you been block your true potential your true happiness not anymore I feel here that's the vibe of going into the new energy of the new season, most likely. Quite soon enough, we are almost there. Mending. And underneath here we have poised. Treasure Island, whatever you manifested. Why? And come to the edge. Be courageous. Take the leap. Whatever you manifested here, it's coming. A little, a little with a shift. Thinking, should I take it or should I leave it? You ask for it, loves. Yes, sometimes we ask in a certain time and it's coming way later. And yes, I've had manifestations that I've done probably 10 years ago. And they came a year or two ago. So indeed here, when you put... Whatever is there to the universe, believe it or not, it's coming to you. But I come as quick as you want, but they're coming. So before you do or say something, think of it. Because that's coming. You might feel like, why now? What should I do? There's a breaking trail out there with this never-ending story, the next card. And the following, you have the time to go. So indeed here, something here doesn't need to be repeated. But most likely learn to. And of course, for some of you, basically you can't repeat it. That's done. The chapter, it's quite ugliest one. The world very much speaks that whatever left you behind, whatever you left behind, was anyway a breaking or a, or, or a break energy that really didn't fulfill you. So loves, love and light, and thank you very much for coming in. I hope. This day is looking beautiful for you. And if it does, let me know. Love and light. See you next time. Namaste.